dirty smut. Oh my god. Get 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 down to the floor. Oh it's my god, glow. <laughs> so much for tuning back in if it's your first time here welcome to the family make sure you hit that subscribe button drop us a like and hit that notification bell so you guys know every time we drop a new video i'm glow i'm jess and i'm Crixley. and on this episode oh. okay. <laughs> don't i hate when i get dry throat <laughs> so embarrassing guys 12 year old boy <clears throat> with all that saliva exactly i'm sorry on this episode of March Madness, we are still in, in Mexico. 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 Mexico lindo. It's so magical in Mexico. I love Mexico. I'm excited about I'm this I'm excited one. we're here. I know. I can stay here all month. <laughs> <laughs> Let's we do it. Let's just stay yeah, here. Right? We are going to try a fungus. And me and Glow love fungus. Crixley depends. Mm, not so much. Truffles. You um, love truffles. But I don't know about like fresh. We are trying the Huit La Coche. Huit La Coche. Huit La Coche. Am I saying it right? Pammy, you're saying it crazy. Huit La Coche. Huit La Coche. Huit La Coche. Should I pronounce like that? Huit La Coche. Huit La Coche. She's like, bitch, what are you saying? <laughs> so essentially, this is a fungus that is grown in corn. And we got this from Chef Wendy. Shout out to Chef Wendy. Wendy. Girl, girls love you. I was like, I girl, know. you know where I can find some huit le coche? And she's like, I got you, girl. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> you haven't got the vaccine. So she gave me the little rundown and said this is basically a fungus that grew from a corn. And what they did is pull it and then attach it to more corn so that it would grow more and then it like rewind it's a fungus that grew on a corn they took it out and then like and attached they it, it on to other corn? corns to grow why did they just leave it on that corn no grow. so it's could like grow more so there's everywhere on other oh, corns okay, okay. so she said it's very umami flavor very strong truffle like i've never had it like. she said it last mm. night she did she did let me smell this it is a expensive ingredient. Very. She said thirty-five dollars a pound or something for vegetables. So okay. it's. I don't uh, smell truffles, but. What is it? Maybe it tastes like it. Um, is it an aphrodisiac? I don't know. Ooh. Actually, I don't have my phone on me. Look it up. Is it an aphrodisiac? I don't even know how to spell. It's it. beautiful quesadilla. Delia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Quesadilla. Um, Wendy wasn't able to explain it to me, but Wendy I know there's. Taste. A pulled cheese and then even look a queso fresco. It's probably Oaxacan cheese <laughs> okay. and queso fresco. Go ahead, girl. It's our little pizza. It smells uh, like eight oyster mushrooms. It reminds me of, of like, you know, like a, a refried black bean. It has bean texture? Mm-hmm. Here's a piece, guys, it's if you want to see disease. it. It's a plant disease. It's a plant disease. There it is right there. Waffle. It's known as corn smut. Oh, that's what it is, you little and smut. Mexican truffle. Dirty smut. Oh my god. Get 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 down to the floor. Oh it's my a god, glow. In Mexico to grow in <laughs> She's in her own world right now, learning stuff over there. She went down Wikipedia. <laughs> it's a delicacy in Mexico. It's a delicacy. It's a delicacy. Yeah. Cheers. What's this? That's mushroom, you smut. You smut. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Cheers. You're trying to cheers with yeah, me. I know. I didn't like that smell. All right. Wheat La Coche from Mexico. Oh, no, a little salsa verde. We need a little, mm. a little salsa. This tastes like something. Oh. Team Sweet, where you at? Where you at? 
kind of like it. I don't think I'm there. <laughs> I think she needs a salsa. She warned you guys that this month was going to be worse for her than spicy month. I, it kind of tastes like something. Oh my god, she gagged. Can't get it down? I mean, it definitely tastes really earthy. Mm -hmm. Very. Very earthy, yeah. I will say I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It's very earthy. Mm -hmm. It's very strong. She did say it's a very strong mushroom. Yeah. Um, it's not very, you know, appealing. It's not I don't curious. mind the black. I think that's nice. I actually like the black. But even in, in its own form. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Honestly, I was like wondering what I like. I think it's all the butter I put to recook it that I'm mm -hmm. tasting like breakfast vibes. Oh, I see. You know what I'm saying? With the tortilla. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like the cheese with it. Mm-hmm. It's pretty strong. Pungent Gym sweet is struggling. Yeah, it's pungent. No, th this looks like a no to her for her. It looks like Glow's gonna have wheat la coche for lunch. <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't hate it. I don't know if I'm ever gonna crave it. I'm not gonna be like, bitch, give me some of that corn smut, ho. Yeah. Unless I try it in a different um Form. But I thought this was safe with the cheese and the carbs. The, uh, like, I don't think it can get any easier here. And this is in its simplest form, too, yeah. right? So this is what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. This is really what it tastes like. I thought I was going to love this. Yeah, I was hoping you... So this this looks like... Look, yeah, sure. Form. That's one piece. It it's very spongy. Like oyster mushrooms. Yes. Mm. That's what I feel like when I eat in certain Asian yeah, dishes. Like, look how bouncy, yeah. look how bouncy it is. Bounce that ass all day, girl. Mm -hmm. Bounce. Just smell it. It's, yeah. You have to love mushrooms to like this. I hate mushrooms. You have to love all kinds. And I this mean, is that, still not my favorite mushroom. Yeah. But I don't hate it. I mean, this is not a mushroom. If I, yeah, but it's like the mushroom flavor. This is nothing. It's a fungi. Yeah. Fungi. If I was on a date and I had to go to the parents' house and this is what I got, what will you I can get through it. Not my favorite though. <laughs> what about, I hate when that happens. What about, obviously, scenario. The date goes right. You end up marrying her. And they think that that is one of your favorite dishes that they've ever made. <laughs> no, before. you gotta let them know. <laughs> and they even make it for your birthday. You gotta what let them do? know. I'm letting them know right away. I lied to you. What do you do at that point? <laughs> I'm trying to think if that happened to me in Crixie and she made me something and I didn't like it. Say what? <laughs> and did I tell you? No. I don't remember. Yeah, I've had meals here in this home where I was not a big fan of that dish. And she can already tell in my she face. She hates zucchini. I do this. And I love zucchini. Bite, swallow. Oh, yeah. Mm. Bite. I do very little, minimal chew. Zucchini. She does that every time with zucchini. She tries to make butternut squash pasta or whatever. I don't know. Actually, the, this also has like a texture of like a zucchini. Very squishy. I'm not a fan of it. Mm -hmm. But, okay, well, there it goes. And actually, the cheese does help it. The cheese helps. It brings uh, that sharpness. I also think that Chef Wendy, oh, this is, this is the best this wheat look coach is going to get, you know? So I'm not, it's not that, I just might not be the biggest fan of the, the ingredient. It kind of has, like, to me, like a little bit of like a broccoli like smell and stuff to it. And you hate broccoli. Mm -hmm. I hate broccoli. But I, I ate both broccoli. of my pieces, so it's not horrible. What else does she tell you? I want to try it myself. What else does Chef Wendy tell you? It's, it. it's just really pungent. Mm -hmm. It's very assertive. It's a strong flavor. You have to either. So this is a piece of corn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's like a germ. Bacteria. Why is it so squishy? Because it was it was bacteria. Ooh. Okay, I can't eat any more slices though. Chef Wendy, I love you. Thank you so much for hooking up. Thank you up. so much. Are we like Ochem?
Trial. Thank you for opening my mind to wheat la coche. I never tried it. And I'll always try one, a food once. I am saying, the more you eat it, the no, easier it's, it's getting. getting. So I think you were caught off guard with the assertiveness. And now you're like, okay. No, I mean, I tried to get that down. It was very tough. The first bite. But she, the second bite went down really mm -hmm. smoothly. Yeah, she almost gagged. I think she did gag. <laughs> gag count alert, guys. Um, so yeah, I think overall the trip to Mexico and some of their more exotic foods um, is a not a bad trip. We didn't bring the grasshoppers. I like Hopefully. grasshoppers. Maybe I've eaten chapulines. Maybe it's certain ones that are stronger. Hmm. She's I just had <laughs> This is reminding me of my first bite. <laughs> you know, try try something once. I always try something at least twice. That's the rule. Because there's different ways of preparing Correct. it, right? Yeah. I will try this again in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, in Mexico City. In Mexico? Mexico City. I'll try it. I um, mean, I've, I've had the best. This is Wendy, so wow. I don't think I'm having it. I'm, I'm not having it any, anymore. Because Chef Wendy is the best <laughs> chef in Orlando. Whoop, whoop. Um, so this wasn't a bad thing, but it opened our eyes to uh, corn fungus. Or what is corn... Dirty little slut. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we're gonna save these three slices for Glow's breakfast. Yeah, I'm gonna add eggs. And she's I'm gonna, gonna oh, I'm gonna it up. add avocado to it too. She's gonna zhuzh it up. Zhuzh it. But as always, stay spicy, stay salty, and stay sweet. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.